Welcome to Deep Thought. Don't live in a bubble. Don't live in a bubble. I'm going to tell you what. A lot of people live in a bubble. A lot of people. A lot of people, they don't... Especially, I mean, it was exacerbated by the presence of the COVID-19. But even before that, there was a lot of people who lived in bubbles. You know... I think of a young man that I was acquainted with, right? And he lived with his brother. But, you know, according to his brother, this young man, he would just go to work and come home and just stay in his room. That's a bubble. You know, if you only do what's necessary, like you got a lot of people who just stay home, that's a bubble. You got a lot of people, like I mentioned social media in my last podcast, you got a lot of people who will just get their news from certain areas, get their information, get their entertainment, that's a bubble. See, the thing about bubbles is a bubble can be small or a bubble can be big. Regardless of the size, it's still a bubble. And, you know, when when they live in a bubble, they will have a certain attitude, certain ideas about life in general because they don't see outside that bubble. Because when we're in a bubble... We tend to just find like minds. We want to find like minds. We we don't want to get deep. We don't want anybody who challenges our reality. Indeed, that's why we'll get in the bubble. Because it protects us from the outside world. We can believe this is how it is. Okay. You know, people, and a lot of people will do it. And it's not even necessarily on the surface bad. You know, if someone finds someone like in a relationship. Right, and that person is willing to stay in the bubble with them. Sometimes they'll stay there, or they'll say they can't get into it. Or sometimes, if they're depending on the sect of their uh, religious or spiritual walk, they may not do certain things. And I've seen this. I've seen people who've been in Christian sects do that. Islamic sects do that. Uh, certain Jewish sects who've done that. New Age sects who. Uh, Sexta, who have, um, you know, they'll say, well, we're not interacting with the outside world. We're not doing it. Um, you know, some people might call some groups cults, but they do that. That's a bubble. It's like a world and stuff. And, you know, depending on, depending on the nature of it, it can be good in one way. You get a certain structure and everything. But it can be bad in another way because one thing about life, life don't accommodate bubbles to the to a great extent. Yeah, you can try to live in it, but life will always throw something in because it's tough to live in a total bubble. You still have to interact with it outside world. When you go to a job, when you're on a job, everybody's not going to be a part of that bubble. Like, let me use the religious path thing. Everybody's not practicing your same religion. And if you're going to work, if you're going to be in that place, you can't, you got to interact. Now, yeah, there's some groups out there and there's even intentional communities out there, which are, can be bubbles, you know, or a friendship network can be a bubble. And that's cool. And, you know, like I said, on one level it's cool, but you can't really live like that. Because like I said, life, the very nature of life. It will introduce stuff to you that might make you uncomfortable because it's there. It's it's there. It's like, yeah, you could even when you watch in um, television, you know, yeah, it could be cool just to see uh, one perspective, but you might need to see two. I use the example of this presidential election, you know. Yes, I'll watch, you know, I'll watch some on CNN. And I'll watch some on MSNBC, but then I'll also watch some on Fox, diametrically opposed, but want to see the big picture, the big picture. See, that's the thing. When you're in that bubble, you don't see the big picture. Now, on uh, before, I've talked about different levels of consciousness. 
like you had some humans, they'll have a, a reptile consciousness. A reptile consciousness, the reptile is just concerned about its immediate environment and itself. And then you'll get the insect consciousness because that's more the group thing. But if you, let me use the example of ants. An ant, their uh, sphere of activity might be just the backyard. You know, just the backyard. Now it seems, shoot, it's a gargantuan area to an ant, but it's still, it's still just a bubble, and they don't see anything outside of that. You know, and they don't really need to. Now, translating that to humans, some humans are in what's it essentially an ant colony, because that's their bubble. You know, they might be in a certain city or a certain area, a certain neighborhood. Uh, their life is structured in such a way where they only see certain things, you know. And like I said, it ain't always just bad, but life always throws a curve in there, right? And then, you know, of course, there's the next level of consciousness, which is, you know, the bird. The bird can see over everything, and they don't really have a, you know, they can go everywhere. And I'm going to get more into that level of consciousness in the next one, or at least an aspect of what I'm talking about. But you you got to expand it. You got to expand it. And I wouldn't use the term, okay, like I said, there, were, there is the concept, you know, you're in that bubble, you can be safe. I would use the term that bubble, but sanctuary. It's nothing wrong with having a sanctuary, having a castle, you know, having that fortress. But you got to go outside sometime. You need to see what's going on out there. Because, see, here's the thing. If you live in that bubble, yeah, it can be cool and look, look great. But what happens when something comes to burst that bubble? What happens? I mean, it could be a small thing. It could be a major thing. You know, what if you're forced to move? You know, with uh, this most recent hurricane, you know, a lot of people are forced to move, you know. Or you got situations, or like in California with fires, people might be forced to move. They might have been in a bubble, but now they put in a different environment and everything. Bubbles always burst. It can always can come to you. Now, yeah, you can be in that, in that bubble but sanctuary, but you got to go outside. You got to see what the threats are. You can be in there and think everything cool, but there might be something that can bust up even the sanctuary down. Very important. So you want to always explore your world. You always want to explore it. You always want to go outside of it. Yeah, and then come back to the sanctuary, rest. You can lay your head down, but know what's going on outside of it. This is very key, very important, okay? So I want you to think on what I'm saying, all right? Peace and many blessings.